welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. You're probably really excited by the title and I'm really excited too because today I'm picking up two new baby rats. So this is something I've been planning and thinking about for a while. I always know I wanted two more rats in summertime of this year and that has crept up on us quick. Obviously with everything going on in the world at the moment that has made things a little bit more difficult when it comes to getting rats. But rescue centres and breeders have now started to open up again and they are starting to home out their rats. And today I'm picking up two boys from a rescue. So as you've just seen, I've already set up their temporary cage that is going to be temporary for a couple of weeks until they can meet the other boys. Also I've got the carry cage and everything ready. I've already paid the adoption fee and stuff so all we need to do now is go and pick them up. We are going to still be social distancing of course. If you're watching this years in the future that's still a thing that's happening right now as I'm filming this so we are going to be super careful. The rescues have started to open up again so all we need to do now is go and pick them up and I'm going to bring you guys along with me. So I'm just feeling really good about the whole situation. I honestly thought it would take me a lot longer to find rats. And obviously we did unfortunately lose Moose recently and that made it even more important for me to find the right rats to go with my boys because although it is okay to have two rats, it is a lot better to have a group. The dynamics is a lot better. Obviously Crumble has his own separate issues which we will be sorting out hopefully very soon but I did want to make sure I had two more rats just in case anything did happen to one of them. It is a lot better to have a group and I was really lucky to find these boys because not only are they rescues and I'm going to be able to give them a really good home but also they are really friendly from what she's told me and the pictures she sent me they're always asleep on her shoulder which is really cute so I've been really really impatient to meet them and I'm just so excited. But yeah enough talking let's go and get in the car and pick up my new rats. Humbug I have to tell you something I've been keeping a secret from you. Do you want to know what it is? No? <laughs> You're gonna get some new little friends. Are you excited? Someone else to cuddle with. You have to be nice to them though, because they're only babies. Okay? <laughs> okay. Should we see how much you weigh? You ready? 241 grams. You ready? 200 and 205 grams. You're so tiny. <laughs>
here they are, I've had them for about a week now and honestly I could not be happy with how they've settled in. I'm so in love with them, I love them so much and I'm sure you guys are dying to know more about them and dying to know their names so I'm going to make sure to try to answer all of your questions and tell you everything about them. So as you guys know I mostly go with food names for my rats and I've stuck with that with these two. So I'd like to introduce you to Twix, he is a top-eared black Berkshire and he is absolutely tiny. Something that's unique about Twix is the fact that he does have the end of his tail missing, the very, very tip, and he does have a significant scar on his tail. I suspect that was just from his mother biting the end of his tail when he was very, very tiny, but it doesn't bother him. I just thought that was something really unique about him that I noticed on about the second day of having him. And then this is Whisper, and he is a mink variegated Dumbo. So if you can't tell, they have both got UK chocolate names if you're not familiar with their names. They are both chocolate bars in the UK. And I named Whisper first because he has a tiny little white wispy bit of hair on his face. And then when I actually met Twix and saw his face, he also has tiny little white hairs on him too. So I wanted them to have similar names because they are actually brothers. They did come from the same litter, so I wanted to make sure they had very similar names. So as I mentioned at the start of the video, they did come from a rescue, a really small rescue run by a really lovely girl. And I saw the advert on a selling site and I messaged her. I didn't really know what they looked like, but I really liked the sound of them based on their personalities. And they were the result of an accidental litter. I think someone either bought two males or two females, either from a backyard breeder or a pet store. And they did end up having an accidental litter. I believe they actually surrendered both of the rats, so the mum and the dad to the rescue before the babies were even born, and they were actually born at the rescue. So they were born on the 11th of March, and that makes them 12 weeks old at the time of filming this, and it's really nice knowing their birthdays because you guys know I go overboard when it comes to birthdays. I like to throw them a party and also make them a cake, so it's gonna be really nice knowing exactly when their birthday is. So as I said, they are 12 weeks old and they are quite small for their age. I was really surprised when I opened the carrier to see just how small they are. They're about the size that I'd expect a seven or an eight week old baby to be. So I was really surprised with how small they are. Twix especially is only about 205 grams. As you can see in those clips, I weighed them as soon as I got them and they are really, really small. So when it comes to bringing home baby rats anywhere, you do want to make sure you're giving them extra protein just to support their growth. If they're under 14 weeks old, I do recommend giving them extra protein in their diet. And I've been making a conscious effort to make sure I'm doing that with these boys because they are so small. So I've been giving them mackerels, tuna, extra protein in their diet just to try to support their growth. They might just end up being really small rats genetically, but I want to make sure I'm doing everything I can to make sure I can help them grow if they are kind of underdeveloped and a bit small for their age. Speaking of genetics, I find it so interesting looking at the different varieties that popped up in the litter. I think the parents were a black Dumbo and just a Russian blue Roan. And in the litter, obviously we had these two, which are black and mink variegated, so mink and white. But there was also some agoutis in the litter as well. So I just find it so interesting looking at the babies and also the parents and seeing the results of that. So in terms of their personalities, Whisper is definitely the cuddliest, calmest one up the two of them. He really enjoys coming and sitting with me in the evenings on the sofa, and it's been a long while since I've had rats that were this cuddly as babies, so it's been a nice change. Even though I enjoy energetic, crazy rats, these two especially are quite calm when it comes to sitting with me, which has been really nice. Twix, on the other hand, is a little bit more cautious about things, and he's definitely the more hyper of the two. He does settle down eventually after a while and sit with me, but he's definitely the more hyperactive and energetic out of the two of them. But both of them together seem to have a really good bond. They have been play fighting and wrestling a lot, which is hilarious to watch because they're only tiny babies. Whisper seems to be the more dominant. I don't know if that's because he's a good 40 grams heavier than Twix right now, but he seems to be the more dominant one when it comes to the two of them. They have been playing with each other a lot, which is really cute to see. It's actually my first time, I think, having actual siblings rather than just two rats of the same age. They are from the same litter and that's the first time I've ever had rats this related, which is nice. It's nice to see the bond the two of them have together and it's nice they were able to come to a new home with each other. So yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to mention that I've missed. I'm sure if there is, I'll feature it in a future video, but I did also ask you guys if you had any questions on Instagram. A lot of them were the same questions, which I'll already have answered, like their names, their varieties, where I got them, and their story, things like that. But there were a few questions that I haven't answered that I thought I would just quickly answer just in case you were curious. So one of the questions I got a lot through sharing them, sitting with me, was how are they so calm already, and how can I make my rats be as calm as your rats? 
As you can see right now, they're running around, they're doing rat things. They're being young baby rats as they should. If I catch them at the right time in the evening when they're tired, they will come and sit with me, but that's mostly due to luck. Also the hard work of the girl that runs the rescue. She handled them pretty much from day one and made them as tame as they are. Also, it does just come down to each individual rat's personality and their genetics. If they don't want to sit with me or your rats don't want to sit with you, that's fine. You can't really force them into doing it. Obviously, with routine handling them every single day, you can make them more inclined to sit with you, but there's not really any magical trick that I'm doing with them to make them as friendly. Mostly, it's someone else's hard work and just their genetics and their individual personalities. There's nothing that I've really done straight away to make them this tame. I'm just going off of what someone else has already done and just their personalities. I also got a few questions about what made me pick them specifically and I didn't really have a choice, I didn't really pick them out of the litter, I think most of them already had homes. The advert was for two male rats and I just messaged them and asked them which ones in the picture were looking for homes and it just so happened to be these two and I just so happened to fall in love with them so I didn't really get to pick them out of the whole litter, I was just drawn to the advert and mostly the description of how friendly they were so I didn't necessarily pick them but I'm really happy with them regardless. I think one of the most frequently asked questions and something I also did want to touch on is when are they going to meet the other boys and what's going to happen with Crumble so right now obviously they are about 12 weeks old and you do want to wait until your rats are a decent age which they are but you also want to make sure they're a decent size and Twix especially is a little bit too small they say to wait until they're about 200 grams for males he's only 205 grams so regardless of anything to do with my other rats I would want him to be a little bit bigger before I even tried anything. So obviously Crumble has a past history of hormonal aggression. This has only really been targeted towards Humbug. He's never had an issue with my older rats, but I'm not really comfortable putting in fresh new babies with him that can't defend themselves as easily because he does have this history of being a bit aggressive to other rats. He has since calmed down, he's not attacking him the way he was when he was about four months old and he is about six or seven months old now so if he was going to grow out of it I would expect to see that soon but he is still displaying behaviours that I'm not happy with. He is kind of still puffing up and chasing him and pursuing him which I don't want him to do to the new babies so I don't feel comfortable introducing him to them in his current state and I have been trying to get him neutered. Now obviously at the moment the whole lockdown situation in the UK has stopped routine procedures at the vets. They're not doing any operations that are in emergencies and unfortunately neutering rats is not considered an emergency so he has had to wait to have that done. Luckily he's not injuring Humbug anymore because if he was I'd have to separate him which is not ideal but I think I'm going to email them just to see if they could maybe squeeze me in or maybe give me some sort of time scale of when they'll start to do routine operations again. Fingers crossed it is very soon because it does have quite a long recovery before you can introduce them to other rats, but I do kind of have a plan where that's involved. So very loosely, the plan is to take Crumble to the vets, have him have his operation, and then get home, introduce Humbug to the new babies, whilst Crumble's off having his balls cut off, just to make sure Humbug is not by himself. And then it does take a while for the hormones to die down, and that is about six weeks. So after those six weeks, Crumble could then go back in, and meet the new babies and be introduced to them. That is kind of loosely what my plan is regarding that because they can also have their hormones increase. Just after surgery, they can be aggressive towards other rats. So I do think he is gonna to have to be separated to Humbug, which is not ideal, but in the grand scheme of things, it is gonna be the best thing for them. So yeah, I think that's everything I need to tell you about the new boys and my plans with them regarding the other rats. Do let me know down in the comments what other kind of videos you want to see with them. Whilst they're babies, I can do other videos that could also help you if you're getting new baby rats in the future. Do let me know down in the comments what kind of things you want to see with them. But I hope you guys are really excited to learn more about them and to see them grow as rats. If you like this video and you want to see more of the baby rats in the future or my other pets, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!